Hello everybody, uh, this is Saham. I've decided to use my channel also to review movies. Um, particularly yesterday, I went to see women talking. And um, the movie really touched me, it touched really my soul. It's such a beautiful movie. I have to say, uh, I I have to apologize for my voice. Uh, on Saturday, there was a huge rally in downtown Los Angeles in support of Iran and the revolution happening. The revolution movement, uh, woman, life, freedom. And I honestly went to women talking, not even thinking about the revolution happening in Iran, the, the, which is based on women's movement, and women's right. Um, because another and one of my favorite movie critics, she, he was raving about it. So uh, I wanted to see it really badly after that. And on Sunday afternoon, I went to see it and. Uh, it's just really touched my heart and my my soul. It it also kind of <laughs> felt weird because out of thirteen people in that theater, I was the only guy. And I think this is a movie that must be seen from last year, but also a lot of men have to win. Uh, have to see it. Uh, now I think about it, yesterday was Super Bowl, so I guess all the real tough guys were getting ready or watching, uh, wanted to watch Super Bowl, another movie based on women. Um, so I had seen a little bit of the trailer and I thought it gave away so much of the premise but actually not because the movie gets into it right away and and it's a very tough subject so basically it's a colony in a south i guess a southern state in um i don't know uh, you could say an amish colony that women getting attacked by men and you don't you don't see the abuse the abusive act but you see the after effect of it you you see these women waking up what ha what has happened to them and um, it, it's it's um, it's a very emotional movie, which to me, um, I don't know why for the past decade or half a decade, a lot of movies or filmmakers or studios, I don't know, they, they kind of like run away from it or stay away from to be, to make emotional films. It's it's okay, I, I, I don't know, I, I feel like some people, I, mean, I guess most people maybe see it as a sign of weakness to get emotional publicly with a group of people, share, you know, share and shed some tears. And, um, but yeah, and one thing at, that really uh, reminded me of is 12 Angry Men, 12 Angry because this movie mostly takes place uh, at a barn and these these women are uh, basically exchanging ideas or debating ideas uh, of what action to take and I know some people may think oh this is boring a bunch of characters talking in one room if you've seen 12 Angry Men, 
and you know how the plot gets in the evolve but this one you get actually back your story of each uh, of each character as well you get to know the characters it's not just the movie doesn't take place the, all the time in that barn uh, you see the relationships between the characters um, and you see how that commun community is um, I, I, I somehow was expecting some sort of a dark twist at the end but it didn't happen which is which is not a which is not a, um, a cr uh, criticizing it it's not a, it's not an issue uh, but all the performances were beautiful the music was beautiful uh, the pacing in my opinion was really good um, the cinema the cinematography um, was I love the framing I love the framing and it has a some sort of dark humor to it as well uh, especially these uh, younger characters uh, br bring that you know innocent childhood so so authentically so organically into the uh, onto the screen I, I absolutely adore that uh, and it's crazy I uh, and I, I had I got a, a cup of tea and as soon as I about to grab it to take a sip to get you know no, uh, to swallow some tears basically I realized I was wearing this bracelet or wristband that says woman life freedom and I started just crying in the theater because just seeing this woman basically trying to save their lives and for their freedom is just spot on coincidence that it just touched me so well and uh, so yeah so uh, but then regarding the uh, just going back to 12 angry men one thing I, I'm really happy about this that it, it's not a remake or like per se saying that copying an older movie that based on men uh, male characters no and i hate that hollywood does this that they reboot or remake an older movie that is based on male characters and they just recast the woman the reason that i'm, I'm against it because women in my opinion uh, deserve to the, their own uh, fresh and their own story basically a uh, fresh take on new stories new new characters new uh, new new plots um, I don't understand why they have to remake of something and just recast it as a woman uh, in my opinion they have their own stories they have their own um, uh, point of views that are different from men especially what they go through so I, I love that this is not a remake of an older movie or another movie that it's male character and if you think about it those misogynist sexist producers filmmakers audience viewers whatever you want to call them if such a thing when such a thing happens either either if that movie is successful they'll say oh because of the the original movie based on men was successful that's why uh, it's helping women if it fails then say oh look uh, they say oh look see uh, it doesn't work with women like what happens with ocean 8 and uh, oceans 8 so you know uh, women I hope Hollywood or any filmmaker or film producer give women and their stories and their voice fresh take and um, such a, such 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 as this movie it's really well made in my opinion I know 
one of these awards, I, I don't remember, that Glass Onion won the best like assemb assembly or assemble acting or whatever like uh, award for, for whatever it was uh, Glass Onion the Knives That Movie uh, it won for the best performance as a group but to me in my opinion Women Talking got dropped <coughs> excuse me because every single performance the dynamics between these characters just phenomenal just top notch and uh, it should have won basically this assembly cast and acting performance whatever you want to call it um, I forgot the the composer Hilder uh, she she was also composer of Joker. She should have been nominated for Oscars. Um, I don't know why the editing didn't get any recognition. Sorry, I mispronounced that word. Uh, what else do I have to say? The cinematography also, as I mentioned, the framing was just beautiful. Um, so overall, uh, I would give it nine out of ten. It, it's a it's a must see. It, I personally will own it on 4K disc right away as soon as it's available. I like I would love to have it in my collection. Highly recommend it to everyone, especially to those men who see the other gender or any other genders. <laughs> down below I think it's educational um, it's it, it, and it's beautiful uh, I don't want to get into the spoiler towards the end after they, they make their uh, I, I maybe one day I, I will share my opinions about the final decisions that they make because I as an immigrant as an Iranian immigrant I can relate to it how a decision is because I live in a society that is a very very up you know uh, I don't want to spoil anything but uh, and you see the kind of effect, a diff effect of what's happening in Iran right now, and who actually, how to, who, what's happening inside and outside, basically. I I I really relate to that, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll break it down in a different video. But but as of now, I give it nine out of ten. And uh, thanks for listening to me, and once again, I apologize for my voice and my. My, my thick Persian accent.